Member for Lanark Farm Next Lennox Nattington. Thank you, Speaker. I have a petition here to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. Whereas the hallmark of a free society is the right of the individual to the use and enjoyment of property, and whereas the property rights include the right not to be deprived thereof except in accordance with the principles of fundamental justice, we, the undersigned, petition the Legislative Assembly of Ontario as follows. The Legislative Assembly passed the property rights motion tabled by the member for Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox and Huntington and take the necessary steps to enshrine property rights in the Constitution of Ontario. Thank you. I agree with this petition and will uh, affix my name to it. number of phone calls, emails and faxes I receive every week from constituents outraged with the cost of their hydro bills. Thanks to Premier McGinty's costly green energy experience, my constituents Anne and John Ridley's hydro bill has skyrocketed from roughly $200 a month in January of last year to over $600 a month 600? in the same billing period. Unbelievable. Since the government seems to have trouble with math, I'll do it for them. That's a 200% increase in hydro costs for a family trying to heat a two-bedroom home, a family that also uses propane for heating to keep their costs down. My constituents are tired of the McGinty Liberal smart meters, which are nothing more than tax machines. The McGinty government is simply out of touch with the people of this province. Hydro One has made it clear to me that they only investigate cases when the bills are over 300%. They won't be investigating the bill of Anne and John Ridley. Last year, Hydro One investigated over 8,000 cases where prices were over 300%. But how many more thousands had increases almost as large? Well, the Premier continues to boast about how he is saving my constituents 10% on their monthly bills, they are left with a bill that has skyrocketed 200% in the last year. This government needs to stop coming up with ploys to get Liberals re-elected and start dealing with the mess that they have created with their expensive energy experiments. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Legislative Assembly Act with respect to the Standing Committee on regulations and private bills. The, ma the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services will please come to order. Mr. Hillier moves that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Legislative Assembly Act with respect to the Standing Committee on Regulations and Private Bills and that it now be read for the first time. This is the pleasure of the House of the Motion carry. Carried. Carried. This is a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Legislative Assembly Act with respect to the Standing Committee on Regulations and Private Bills. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture Project to the one. Member for short statement. Speaker. Speaker, this bill amends the Legislative Assembly Act with respect to the Standing Committee on Regulations and Private Bills and the standing orders of the Assembly required, required be established. At present, all regulations stand permanently referred to the Committee, but the Committee is prevented from examining the merits of the policy or objectives to be affected by the regulations. This bill allows for the examination and allows for any member of the Assembly to make submissions to the Committee for the purpose of that examination. Speaker, my bill would bring power back to the Legislature.